All right, so I'm going to try to finish up uh, chapter seven uh, with this video. Let's see. So um, we have uh, two high tides a day um, and, and two low tides a day. It, it goes, you know, let, let's say there's a there's a low tide. Six hours later, there's a high tide. Six hours later, there's a, a low tide. And then six hours later, there's a high tide. All right, so. Uh, and then, of course, six hours later, there's a low tide again. All right. And, they're, and then they're offset each day by about 50 minutes. Right. It's not it's not exactly a 24 hour period because the moon has moved uh, by about 50 minutes. All right. Um, now, there's also besides the moon, which is the main contributor to the tides there. there people noticed a long time ago, perhaps in the springtime, you'll see why in just a second. Um, that it, by the way, it has nothing to do with the spring. Okay, um, that the sun actually contributes to the tides. All right. So when the when the Earth and the sun and the moon are lined up, now think about that for just a second. Right. That's either during a full moon or during a new moon. Right. So so either way, it doesn't matter. Like if the if the, if the moon is over here, that's that's of course that that's of course a a a full moon. Right, because the, the entire side, in terms of phases, the, this entire the near side of the moon is completely illuminated for us. Um, and then, uh, when the moon is is exactly on the you know on the same side um, as as the sun, exactly in the same portion, they, you know, they, I'm not talking about an eclipse because they don't always line up. But if the moon is is in the same portion of the sky as the sun. Um, that's of course what we call a new moon, and so th those two, when the, when when there's you know um, when the moon when the moon and the sun and the earth are are lined up like this, um, either either when it's here or here, as I just said, uh, that's called a, that's called a spring tide, right? And I, like I said, it's not anything to do with spring. Um, it, it's it's. It was probably first observed in the spring, I guess. That's probably where the name comes from. Um, but it, it's just, let, let me make sure I can get this right, all right? So this, when when it's spring tides, it's the highest high tide, excuse me, the highest high tide that you're gonna have, and then the lowest low tide, all right? Have we got that? So the highest high tide and the lowest low tide, because the the sun is, is is contributing um, the most it is going to when the the moon and the earth and the sun line up like this. So, all right. And then they have what are called neap tides. All right. So for a neap tide, the the um, notice the angle between the sun, the earth, and the moon is at ninety degrees. Right. So this is either um, you know the last quarter or the first quarter. Remember, last quarter is also known as third quarter, all right? So when the phase of the moon is, is last quarter, also known as third quarter, or first quarter, um, that, during that time, that is, that's, that's a neap tide, right? So the, the, so the sun is canceling out. It, it's a, in, within spring tides, the sun is contributing to the tide as much as it's going to. In in the, with the neap tides, the sun is taking away some of the tidal effect from the moon. All right, so let me make sure I get this right. You get the lowest high tides and the highest low tides. <laughs> it's kind of, you got to think about that for just a minute. Okay, so make make sure. You, um, all right, so again, with spring tides, the highest high tides. The lowest low tides, right? And so, um, it's it's just the opposite for neap tides, right? The the lowest high tides. So remember, high tide always follows the moon, right? So there's there's a high tide. Six hours later, um, you're going to get a low tide, but it's not going to be quite as low. It's not going to be as low as as you normally would have, all right? Um, in in fact, it's going to be the highest of a the highest low tide you're going to get, and then, and of course, the high tide is going to be the lowest high tide. There, I think I said that right. All right. So um, 
the, and the other thing that we've noticed, and we only noticed this from, you know, si placing those, um, those reflectors on the moon and knowing exactly how far away the moon is. And we've been measuring this over, um, you know, the last, from the last 50 years or so, um, very, very accurately. And we know that the moon is actually getting a little bit further, not, not much, but just a little bit further from the earth. Um, and the, and what, what's going on is what's called tidal breaking, right? So the, the tides, um, are, are actually slowing the Earth's rotation down a little bit. Um, not, not by much. I mean, it's been going on for a long, long time. Um, we think, in fact, that the Earth originally, I think that's in the next slide. Um, oops, no, no, it's not in the next slide. That, that was, oops, let me get to back to where I was. Uh, so so um, we think that originally the Earth rotated um, when, when the moon was first formed, the Earth was spinning at about um, once every five hours. In other words, that was a day. It took about five hours um, for the for the for the Earth to rotate around once, and be and, and the Moon used to be a lot closer to the Earth, right? Um, and so, as as this tidal breaking has has gone on for the last four billion years, um, we've it's slowed it has slowed the Earth down so that it rotates once roughly every twenty four hours. Um, and that's going to get longer as time goes on. Uh, of course, not in your in one human lifetime, or you know, not in the lifetimes of your grandchildren even, or their grandchildren. Right? I'm talking about you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands to millions of years you'd have before you'd even notice this. All right. Um, the, the, where we got the five hour time that the, the it takes the Earth to rotate is we use this quantity in physics called the angular momentum. So if you add up the angular momentum of, of the moon and the earth, um, and you know, you just do a, you, you can do a computer simulation about what, when, when the, when the moon, when, when the object called Theia hit, hit the earth, um, and, and you could figure out how fast the, um, how fast the earth was moving. All right, so, and, and that's, um, you know, the tidal breaking is um, the, the reason for this, the synchronous rotation of the Earth, of, of the moon, I should say. All right, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is, um, I'm gonna do uh, some examples um, of, of uh, from, from equations that we've had before, but using the moon, using our moon. All right, so we're, we're, uh, these are um, some numbers uh, that I'm gonna use for the moon. The mass of the moon is 7.3 times 10 to the 22nd kilograms, and the radius of the moon is uh, 1,738 kilometers. All right, so um, we're going to do some calculations. Um, the first calculation, we're going to figure out the, the, the gravity, the surface gravity, all right? So on the surface of the moon, the gravitational acceleration is big G times uh, the mass so, so uh, just just to remind you of the equation, um, t divided by the radius squared, but the radius has to be in meters, All right? So, so we have you know we got some conversions to do. That's that's pretty simple. All right, so so R here um, is seventeen three eight, and you know in one kilometer, I know in one kilometer there are. A thousand or ten to the third meters. All right, so the kilometers cancel. All right, and so so do we have all the numbers now. All right, so a sub g is equal to big G, which is always the same number, six point six seven times ten to the minus eleventh times well, the mass of the moon, which is seven point three times ten to the twenty second. Kilograms, of course, and then divided by one seven three eight times ten to the third. But then you got to square that. All right, so that's got to be squared. All right, so we're, I'm going to do that in my calculator here. Um, let me let me pause this. All right, so um, this is the goofy uh, computer calculator, but I'm going to try to do this. All right, so anyhow, six point six seven times ten. Remember, with times 10, you never hit times, never hit 10. 
to the minus 11 times the mass of the sun, which is, um, what is it, 7.3, 7.3 times 10 to the 22nd, divided by, um, so it's, it's, it's divided by r squared, so it's divided by 1738 times 10 to the third, or you could put three more zeros right here. Um, so you know, I'll just do times 10 to the third, e3, and then and remember, I've got to square that, okay? So uh, there's a squared button right there, all right? And then it's type equals, all right? And so this is the acceleration due to gravity. Um, on, on the on the surface of the moon. Remember, for the Earth, it's 9.8, so it's about 1.3, all right? So here, let's, oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's put this over here. So this is equal to roughly 1.3, 1 point, uh, oops, 1.6, I mean, and the units are meters per second squared. That's the units of acceleration, all right? So uh, that, so that's the acceleration due to gravity. We just did the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the moon. So now I'd like to do the escape velocity from the moon. All right, and this is, the reason I'm doing both of these is just to show another reason why the moon doesn't have an atmosphere. Um, the escape velocity is extremely low. So remember, it's two times big G times the mass in kilograms divided by R, but R has to be in meters. All right, so um, so the, you know we, we already did that with the last one, so it's going to be seventeen three eight uh, times ten to the third meters. All right, so we're going to use this number right here, and uh, here let me set this up. So it's going to be the square root of two times uh, six point six seven times ten to the minus eleventh. Right, that's always the same number, and then the mass of the moon here. It's just 7.3, 10 to the 22nd, divided by um, 1738, and, you know, times 10 to the 3rd, or you could put uh, 0, 0, 0, right? That's exactly the same as 10 to the 3rd, all right? Let me get my calculator, try to do this one as quickly as I can before time runs out. Actually, I'm going to pause it and then do it, do the calculation. All right, so I've, I've just put the the numbers into this equation for the escape velocity. Let me get my mouse here. So the numbers in this escape velocity equation. So there's the, the last thing I divided by um, the radius in meters. And so this answer comes out in meters per second. All right, so that's, that's the escape. Recall that the escape velocity from the Earth is more than 11,000. Um, so if I divide this by a thousand, I'll put it in kilometers per second, which is what we normally do, divided by one thousand, right? Because escape velocity is always, almost always uh, referred to in kilometers per second. All right, so um, so this would be in kilometers per second uh, would be. Oh no, I didn't do that right. All right so this is the proper answer: two thousand. 600, 2,368. All right, so I divide that by a thousand. Sorry about that last one. Divide it by, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Divide it by, divide it, oh my gosh, I messed that up. All right, so anyhow, um, yeah, so it's, it's about 2,600. Okay, so here, let me pause it one more time. Sorry, so, <laughs> sorry I had to pause the video to do this. Um, properly. All right. So anyhow, you get 2,367. You divide that by a thousand to put it into kilometers per second. So the, the escape velocity from the moon is roughly 2.4 kilometers per second. As a reminder, the escape velocity from the earth is about 11.2 kilometers per second. So what, what, um, what I would, did with both of those, the gravitational, um, the gravitational acceleration on the surface, and this escape velocity tells you that any um, gas molecules, which of course would make up an atmosphere, will escape out into space. As soon as they get enough thermal energy, the heat from the sun will cause them to reach this relatively low escape velocity. All right, that's what I wanted to do.